My friends, it's me, Hyman. It's me again. I am sure you just watched the video I combined with this video of me together. I just want to share with you guys that um, actually the situation here is getting much better and better. Yes, a lot of customers they keep asking me how the situation it here is, and um, I know. People around the world doing business with China are all waiting for us, are all waiting for their vendors, their factories to provide the products to them. You see, once there's big problem with China, all the factories just stop and people around the world, their business just gets infected. Yes, so just hanging there. The business are all hanging there. But this is just all the issue uh, in the past 15 days, in the past 20 days, in the past uh, even one month ago. So now I want to tell you guys that uh, more and more companies are coming back to work. More and more factories are coming back to work. So don't worry. If you are my friends, if you are a fan of Hyman, you know I'm the person just not only like to do business. I don't, I'm not like the other vendors, the other businessmen just uh, sit in front of the computer to send emails and chatting. I, my, the, the, the type of me just like to also share the experience and the life here in China. I like to make friends all around China. So I would like to share what's happening in China. Uh, in the video, as you see, first thing, you can see all, all the nurses before they went to the city called Wuhan to help people. They will first shave their long hair clearly because their hair is easy to get infected. Like, I mean, uh, the best things is very easy to get, uh, to get best things on the hair. So they must shave their hair clearly first. But this is not my point. My point is Firstly, you see the nurses are all crying. They are all crying because of their long hair cuts. You can you imagine how many years it takes for them to grow their long hair, to grow their beautiful long hair. The, nur the nurses are were not willing to lose their long hair. So that's why they were crying for the beautiful hair. Mm, but they are also they they are also they were also very determined very determined to help people so they were willing to cut their long hair just to protect themselves first before they went to the city called Wuhan the province called uh, Hubei province the province called Hubei province so they are all very lovely 
people actually is not only it's not only them is uh i think it's the majority of things among the nurses most of them would like to cut their long hair first um so you think how many years it would take them to grow their long hair many years and healthy hair natural hair and you think the hair is very pricely so when you are purchasing the hair if people tell you single don't know virgin hair if they sell very cheap price you need to think about this you need to think about this one lady one bulk of hair this is the first thing i want to share the second thing is our government and our country is very very good they really care about you they really care about you. i think uh, our system the system running in our in our country is the best system to me I, in my opinion is the best system in 10 days we can build up very big hospitals in 10 days in some other western countries i think it will take many years for them firstly to sit down to discuss to, to decide and uh, file out uh, to fill out a constructive the so-called constructive papers how to work and two years gone and then another five, six, ten years to build a hospital like that. But in our country, it's very, very, it's, it is very, very great things that you can't imagine. They really care about you. That's why a lot of foreigners, now more and more foreigners, coming to China to work in China. And they really all fall in love. The life here in China is really good. You can travel one time to China to see the difference, to see the difference. And we are becoming more and more powerful. And some people, some customers of mine are asking me how we can make sure the hair we ship out are healthy hair. For example, they will ask me. Firstly, I will tell them that I am the person. I am the person who come back to work very late. Like other vendors, they were already shipping the hair when it is it was very severe period when the virus when the virus was in the severe period at that time other vendors already started to ship hair and it's very very dangerous and they can't uh, they at that time people were not encouraged to work at that time but because of you see the money people would like to would like to take chance, would like to take risk to do anything just for the money. So I told him first, I am the person who came back to work very late. I, I keep, I, I kept posting, I kept posting videos like, uh, on maybe on 2nd or before 2nd February. Anyway, I, I posted several videos before you can go back to check the videos I posted that I kept reminding people to wait, to wait, to wait. Don't purchase any hair before that time because that was a really dangerous time to work. Anything can, anything could get on with the virus possibly. So I shut down, I shut down the business um 
started to started to uh, arrange the hair for customers slowly slowly like on 17th february but we didn't we, we, we didn't really work too much we didn't really to work, work too much and i told my my customer that firstly we need to hand in the business papers and the health bureau the health bureau would come to check the place where we work to see if, if it is safe first and that means that means before 17th february we did not really expose expose i mean to open the hair to pack hair we, we did not do that kind of things to expose the hair to the in the air in the air because the virus can be anywhere in the air especially when a lot of people sit down work together so i i, I didn't do anything before that times and still this week still this week by the time i'm making the video still this week we still work very slow i told my customer that we did not accept rush orders and we did not handle too much packages of hair over a certain amount of packages of hair we just stop we just stop oh when it's over a certain amount of packages of hair then we we hold it and send out in the next day so that's really really safe especially especially every day the health bureau we come to check if it is safe for us to work um this i'm very confident so this is i want to share but i also want to tell you guys that actually a lot of factories a lot of factories they are not open yet maybe starting in march maybe starting in march the the reason why now we can ship the hair out because we have some stocks before the chinese new year so we just pack them well before we start our chinese new year so some customer would like to purchase any customized hair i just told them that this is not the time because in the factories uh is some most of the factories still are not allowed to start the production by the government so i think we still need to wait in march still need to wait in march in the factories but we uh, luckily we have some stocks on hand to slowly slowly ship the hair out to our customers so I hope you guys can watch this video carefully. And anyway, I hope you guys can understand in the video when the nurses cut their hair, shape their hair clearly, it's really, really pricely for them. Sometimes, sometimes I think I am, I'm an idealist. Sometimes I think I am, I am, I'm an idealist because I'm the person, I'm the person who like quality life. I make quality life, and I would like to share quality things with my friends. For example, when some customers they uh, ask me the price of the hair. When I send the price list to them, uh, no doubt, some customer will say, hey, why the prices are higher than other vendors? For example, for example, 18 inch, some vendors can sell the price less than $30. Can you imagine? 18 inch, some vendor can sell 
price less than thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. So that's why, uh, people can sell large quantity. So, I I'm thinking now. Just because a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, keep asking me, "Hey, Hyman, hey, Hyman, can you help?" Us, can you help me? Can you help us just to provide the hair we want? Not only the hair you are selling, not only the quality of hair you are selling, but uh, we are in the markets maybe from Africa. We are the market in Nigeria, Nigeria, South Africa, um, Cameroon, and maybe in other South America. Uh, we are not a customer from Europe. We are not the customers from USA. We are not the customers from Canada. Maybe those countries they need really good quality, but we are the people from Africa and other countries. Hey, Hyman, can you help us to provide the hair that is uh good to resell here? Yes, that really makes sense that really makes sense so starting from this year uh, i will also provide the hair that's very very affordable for them to resell that i can do it very well i'm very confident because i'm in this hair industry um for I'm very knowledgeable and I know every details of the hair here. So I will help them no doubt. We will help them no doubt. And also uh, let me tell you, actually not everyone from the US, not everyone from the UK, not everyone from France we buy really really real virgin hair. Actually most of them they buy fake version hair from other vendors. Do you know why I know it's fake version hair? Firstly, I have contacts. I have contacts. Uh, let, let me say a lot of people from those countries contact me and tell me. The beauty supply stores tell me other hair sellers in their local city in local countries their prices and they show me everything they also ask me the same thing they ask me could you help me to provide the hair we need we need to compete because the market is really competitive we 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 could not offer your quality line uh, your quality hair to compete with other sellers here because i know the prices actually the prices we can make actually the prices we can make um they also accept the, the hair because we we have some customers we have some customers also buy a, a middle gray also buy the middle gray like the middle gray of our hair and they actually sell very well some of them some of them and they grow their business very well maybe that is a luck Maybe this is a luck they just miss their demand of their clients. Because for me, for me, I don't really actually uh, focus on that market because my, my brain is, uh, I'm, a, I'm an idealist. My brain is most of the time is, foc uh, is focusing on the virgin hair. And I like to meet people who really like quality hair um no it's it's kind of uh it's kind of a, a, a community it's kind of a, a a circle do you understand me people are same are the same type of person doing the same thing we just connected we just connected by god so my brain sometimes most of the time focus on that side but i know actually i already noticed that some customers bought keep buying our mid grade hair they sell very well in in usa canada and uh, europe i i know that no doubt so starting from this year 
who we push that type of hair, which is no tangle, no shedding, also good quality to those people who need help, um, we can do very good. Okay, okay, I just talked too much about this hair business, sorry. So let's go back to the video I share. Hey, come to China to see. It's really good. Because most people come here, they will tell me one thing. China is actually not like what other people tell you in your country. You come here to see and you definitely fall in love. Do you have your experience to share with me? Like I'm doing. Actually, I make, I make a lot of good friends. <clears throat> so, um, if you need to know anything about China or any business here, anything here, you can contact me. I really like to make friends around the world. And also, it's not only business, it's not only just to earn money, not, not to sh share your, your experience, experience with people. You know what? Uh, one of my big customers told me before, people who uh, interact with each other and with their family can be really good with, with each other, can be really real in life, in business. Um, just That's why I like to do that. And sometimes I even travel with my family and my, uh, with my two daughters to meet people. Life is not only business. Life, life is not only business to me. If it's only business, I, I will feel very boring and feel very, very, uh, nothing. I will feel really nothing in my heart if it's only business. So life can be other things. See you in the next video.